you know, the fans want to know if that album that you tweeted about, that secret record that's on YouTube somewhere, is that still out there? Nobody's still uh, discovered it? Is that real? Real? Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the craziest conspiracy theory rabbit hole wild goose chases I've ever seen in hip hop. This story is deeper than the Memphis rap sigils and it's weirder than the Eminem being replaced theory. So make sure to buckle up, grab your popcorn and your tinfoil hats as we look into the hunt for the hidden album. On January 29th in 2019, a fan asked the producer Alchemist if him and Earl Sweatshirt would ever do a collab project. Alchemist responded saying, we did one and dropped it already under a fake name. YouTube, go find it. Many people took this as a joke as The Alchemist tends to lie and joke around on Twitter, so it wasn't taken too seriously. Two years later, on May 22nd of 2021, The Alchemist tweeted again, we hit a whole album on YouTube under a fake name and YouTube page. Fake album cover, song titles, the whole nine nobody found it yet. This tweet was in a much more serious manner, leading fans to begin the hunt for the missing album. Now, if you aren't very familiar with Earl Sweatshirt or The Alchemist, don't worry, you don't really need to know much about them for this to be interesting, but I will give you a very brief rundown. So Earl Sweatshirt is a former member of Odd Future and a very talented rapper. His albums such as some rap songs are highly regarded in the rap community. Some of his biggest songs include Chum, Sunday, Riot, and more. Also a little side note, his recent verse on Gene Dawson's Bad Fruit beautiful man it was so good make sure to check that out if you have not already anyways the alchemist is a legendary hip-hop producer who's been in the game for decades he's worked with tons of huge artists like kendrick lamar mac miller eminem lil wayne nas and many more and he also frequently works with earl sweatshirt so now that we know a little bit about those two we can get back to the hunt for the lost album so once the alchemist sent everybody on this wild goose chase no one knew where to start around 3.7 million videos are uploaded to youtube every day so finding an album by a fake artist with fake titles and a fake album cover is virtually impossible possible, especially since they didn't give any keywords to search for. The best chance of someone finding it is if it's just randomly recommended to someone, but even then that's very unlikely. Also, the trolls immediately took action after this was announced. If you try looking for this yourself, you'll immediately be met with a bunch of little nerds on the internet going, oh, I found the album. I found it. Check right here. Click this link. And then you get Rick rolled or you get to hear someone's crappy music. Hey, my uncle Al has been getting the worst. I'll burst like a star and I let my nuts hang. Some fans briefly thought that an album album called Duality by Mezlix was the hidden album, but it was just a fan-made compilation of some of Earl Sweatshirt's old and unreleased music. With so many unsuccessful attempts at finding this album, a lot of fans figured that the album wasn't real or that Alchemist was joking and that there was no chance of anyone ever finding it. No one knew where to look and it seemed like a waste of time, until a discovery was made. In 2021, fans started looking into a YouTube channel known as Claiming Clutcher, suspecting it to be Earl's burner account. Now stay with me here because there's a lot of information and it can get pretty confusing, but it's also very interesting. The first video on this channel is from May of 2013, a few months before the release of Earl's album, Doris. The video itself isn't inherently proof, it's just some dudes cooking up beats in a garage, but then four years later, Claiming began spontaneously posting beats. On one beat titled Clutch Returns, someone commented in 2017, Earl, finally you back. Then Claiming responded, new album coming soon, which could have been in reference to some rap songs. There's also a handful of other comments insinuating this was Earl's account before people even began searching for this secret album. This is important because like I said earlier, there's a ton of trolls making the search a lot more difficult with fake accounts and fake albums, but people have suspected this to be Earl's burner long before this search began, meaning that it's most likely not a troll. Here's what fans interpret as further proof that this is Earl. Clayman can be seen hating on Earl all over YouTube before this album search began. He's left hate comments on YouTube videos, titled to beat Earl can't rap and also said Earl can't produce. And if this is Earl's burner, I'm sure he would think it's a little silly to hate on himself and see all his fans get angry as if he's someone else. And he also posts a lot of MF Doom inspired beats with MF Doom inspired visuals. And if you didn't know, Earl is a huge Doom fan and is heavily influenced by him. And if we really want to reach, Claiming Clutcher is a rough anagram for Earl Alchemy Cut. When the letters are rearranged, it spells Earl Alchemy Cut, but is missing the E in Alchemy and has a leftover N and C. This very well could could just be a coincidence, but some fans also believe it's a clue. Especially since his account was made in 2012 and The Alchemist and Earl first collaborated in 2012 on the album No Idols. If you're looking at this account optimistically under the lens that it is Earl, it would be a super creative and funny thing to do, especially for the fans. But even if this is Earl's burner account, what does it have to do with the lost album? Well, on this account, there are many things that fans have interpreted as clues. First of all, there's a lot on this account regarding ice cream. Why, you may ask? I'm not really sure. The channel banner is Dr. Doom holding 
ice cream. Clayman Clutcher then began posting ice cream flavors on titles and descriptions. Most recently, he posted a beat with a picture saying, live at Uncle Al's ice cream shop, Clayface Creamery, and another picture with a bunch of ice cream flavors in different numbers. Fans believe that the ice cream flavors could represent a track list with the numbers representing track length. There's also a playlist called Uncle Al's Ice Cream Shop. I'm not too sure what this means, so I tried Googling Uncle Al's Ice Cream Shop to see if I could find any information about it, and all I found was a random ice cream shop in Connecticut. The only thing I did find was some fans looking for the album in the Instagram comments. I'm sure the owners were very confused. But Earl also has a song called Uncle Al, produced by him and the Alchemist on his album Doris. Claiming Clutcher also has a playlist called Investigate Me Nerds with all Chicago artists. I forgot to mention this, but I bring this up because Earl Sweatshirt is from Chicago, so it's possible there's some correlation between this hidden album and his hometown. So these are all the clues that can be gathered from Earl Sweatshirt's possible burner account. No one has been able to figure out if any of this points to anything at all. One thing that's fishy to me is that in one of his descriptions, he had a Twitter that he tagged, and on the Twitter, there was a link to a GoFundMe. Somehow, $760 has been raised. I don't know why anyone would donate to that, but if it is a troll, he's making a little bit of money, so that's cool, I guess. But if this really is Earl Sweatshirt leaving all these clues and sending his fans on a wild goose chase, this could be one of the coolest things I've ever seen an artist do. It's already cool that him and Alchemist hit a whole album, but I've never seen someone be so creative when it comes to leaving clues for your fans to find. On the other hand, people are very skeptical of claiming Clutcher because of a man by the name of Freestyle Fletcher. Freestyle Fletcher was someone from the MF Doom community years ago who used to troll Doom fans. He would hate on Doom on Reddit, YouTube, and other websites, and eventually some fans suspected him to be MF Doom himself. MF Doom is known for having a variety of aliases like Victor Vaughn, who even had beef with Doom, so people thought a similar thing was going on. Especially since Fletcher would fanboy over Victor Vaughn, but hate on Doom. He would even cryptically allude to himself being Victor Vaughn, although it was later debunked that this was in fact not MF Doom. Regardless of whether or not you were able to follow that, people suspect that a similar thing is going on with claiming clutcher. There's a few possibilities that I see. Earl, being heavily influenced by Doom, thought it would be funny to do a freestyle Fletcher-esque troll on his fans while also alluding to his hidden album. The second possibility is that it's just a fan of Earl and Doom who decided to copy the freestyle Fletcher tactic and try to convince people that he's Earl on a burner. And the third and final possibility is that claiming clutcher is freestyle Fletcher and has decided to troll yet another hip-hop community. I think the third one's a lot less likely than the first two but either of these would be pretty funny. Unfortunately though, the supposed clues have not yet led fans to the hidden album and it has not been discovered. The Alchemist said on an Anthony Fantano interview that he isn't even sure if it's still up. He said he can't talk about it and he's let it go. Yeah, it's still just floating in the matrix. So it's it's now, it's literally still up on YouTube though and people could listen to it if they want to. I don't to. know actually, you don't know? to be honest. I don't. At this point, I, I had to just let go of it. You know, it's one of those things as an artist to just move on. I also want to add that unless you count Earl's Burner, which obviously hasn't been confirmed, Earl Sweatshirt has not said a single word about this hidden album. Maybe he'll mention it in the future, but as of now, Earl has remained silent. So I'm hoping, if nothing else, this video inspires people to look into it on their own. And if it's real and we're lucky, maybe one day it'll be found. I know I talked a lot about Earl Sweatshirt and MF Doom in this video. And if you want to learn a little bit more about them and their secret identities, make sure to check out this video that's popping up on screen right now. Other than that, this has been Matty Balls. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.